Today I'm going to change the lens on my Insta360 1X2 because it is scratched. I will do a voiceover this video just because I totally forgot to check my mic while recording and it didn't record any sound. It's scratched because the mount on my motorcycle handlebar detached and the camera went flying on the pavement. Fortunately, the camera's okay, but the land is scratched. Just to let you know, I'm not a professional. I'm doing this just because I'm a handy person. I didn't want to send the Insta360 to get fixed because it would have cost me a hundred bucks US per lens. So I decided to attempt it myself. All the tools I'll be using will be in the description and I will also have the timestamp in the description for you to go to a chapter of your choice. For this project, I will be using a dust blaster to remove any dust from the lens, a wipe for glasses, glue, the camera, obviously, I've got some tools that I had bought before to fix my my phone. The back of my phone had broken and I had bought some tools to be able to replace it. So those are the tools to fix cell phones. I will also need alcohol. This is 90% alcohol, but I'm sure 70% would do just fine. I will also use Q-tips. All right, I will try to remove the cover of the camera to be able to see what's, what's going on inside. It is not an easy process. It takes patience because the top is really glued on the on the camera so it's really hard to have I have a hard time putting that tool between the edge of the top and the camera itself I didn't think of that but I think that if you would use a, a blow dryer or a heat gun in a low settings and just heat the camera just a little bit to for the glue to melt I think it would have been easier on me Those tools that I'm using, it came in my cell phone repair kit. Right here, I just realized that I don't think I needed to remove the top of the camera because the top of the camera is not holding the lens in place. There's a little socket that holds the lens in place and the top of the camera goes around that little socket but I wasn't sure I tried to remove the lens without removing the rest of the top but that didn't work I'm trying to pry the lens out of the little socket but it, it's really 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 tight and I was not able to find a tool strong enough and thin enough to be able to pry the lens out. I'm trying different tool, but none of them was helping. I was not able to get between the little socket and the lens. Since I had a hard time holding the top of the camera, and prying and trying to pry the lens out of the socket, I decided to remove the top off the camera for me to be able to use my both of my hands. But I realized later on that you don't need to remove the top of the camera. So I would suggest not to do that because the top of the camera doesn't hold the lens in place. It's the little socket 
and the top goes around the little socket. But I didn't really realize that at that moment. And I went ahead and removed the top. If I was to do it again, I would not remove that part since you don't need to remove it. It's a step that you don't need to do. And because I did that, the Insta360 is now not waterproof. Because you'll see when I'll put the top back on, I cannot put back the top as tight as it was. Look, when I put the top cover on the lens, you can see that it goes around the little black socket that the lens is stuck in. You can see how thick the lens is right here. So what I did is went to the store and got myself a glass cutter to cut the lens in half because my lens wasn't good anymore anyway because it was really scratched. So I decided to cut the lens open to be able to remove the lens easily because I was not able to do it trying to pry it out of the socket. At the same time, I also bought some glue for plastic and metal. It came into two, a primer and the glue that you will see me apply later on. So to cut the glass, obviously, you should wear some, some protective glasses to protect your eyes because it can produce very small dust of glass and it can go into your eyes and you don't want that. If you do cut your lens, you need to remember that it's just a protective glass that goes over the real lens. Just underneath that, there's the lens of the camera. You don't want to touch that. Just in the middle, there's a bubble of air between the, the top glass and the lens of the camera. So just be careful not to touch the other lens underneath because that one will you cannot replace. You want to take your time with this. I would recommend maybe using a drill. If you have a drill and use a little disc that cuts glass because it took me about an hour to be able to cut that lens open for me to remove it. it took me about an hour. It was long and my hand was tired. see here that the little wheel that cuts the glass from the tool I'm using is not big enough 
uh, and the tool itself is rubbing against the lens, so I have a hard time. I cannot go deep enough with um, with the tool to be able to cut through, but I managed to do it anyway. But it was a little bit harder, I think, because of that. And finally, finally, we've got a breakthrough. Yay! Right here, you can see the real lens of the camera that you don't want to touch. Fortunately, I didn't touch it, so it was all good. I'll be using some tweezers to remove the rest of the glass, the bigger pieces. And use the dust blaster to remove small particles that might be in this little socket. You can see right here the black little socket that is holding the lens in place. I used the compressed air on top of my sink because I didn't want to blow the dust of the glass everywhere. Using the little glasses wipe, I just tried to clean the lens itself. And then using the rubbing alcohol, use the Q-tips, put some rubbing alcohol on it and wipe down the lens and the socket. Then again with the compressed air to remove any little dust left behind by either the wipe for the glasses or the Q-tip. I use the compressed air also into the new lens to remove any dust. Um, the glue that I bought is in two parts. The first part is kind of a primer that I need to put on the two surface that I want to glue. And then I add the glue on the surface. Then when I'm satisfied with the glue, I put the lens into the socket and press hard. And then I will clean the top of the camera and around the camera with the rubbing alcohol to put the primer and the glue to put the camera back together. I pressed the hardest that I could with my fingers and then I'm, I took some clamps 
to clamp the camera down for 24 hours. It is a little bit hard to see, but there's a very small gap between the top cover and the camera itself. That's why it's not waterproof anymore. And I would not advise to remove that top because you just don't need to remove it to replace the lens. Hope you liked that video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. See ya.